all right welcome back and remember like and subscribe if you're getting something out of this or follow if you're over on odyssey we're going to add our view control we're going to do it a little bit different than i done it in the up uwp tutorial on vector graphics first add some classes over here <laughs> add some classes layer segment right now is all we're worried about layer we'll make them both public and inherit from the base item not much just close them we don't need them in the way right now add a new folder to the project call it converters add a new class to the folder call it selected control converter make it public and then inherit from the i value converter implement the interface down here on convert back just turn that to return true we'll implement this in just one second add another folder called controls add a WPF control called layer control you're going to find that this is a lot like what we're going to do in Windows STK. If you do that, if you do those tutorials also. Add another control. We call this segment control. Add one more control. Call it base item control. That'll be our catch-all. Right down here, add a text box, give it a minimum width of 200, let's say, bind the text with binding, because you can't use xbind, <laughs> bind it to the selected item dot name mode is equal to two way close it go ahead and copy that change the background color to something i'm gonna put this one at cayenne on the second segment control paste that right there in between the grid what would you, you copy from the base item and give it a background color of uh, beige on the layer control paste that and give it a background color of uh, green sure green now go back to the selected item I mean excuse me the converter I'll change this up just a little bit if the value is not equal to null Otherwise, right down here, we're going to return our controls dot base item control. That'll be our catch all in general. If our value is a layer, return a new controls dot layer control. Else, if our value is a segment, Turn a new controls dot segment control. It actually was guessing it, wasn't it? Okay, go back to the main page, scroll up to the top, above grid, inside the window, type in window dot resources. Up here, we need to put a namespace in. We'll call it converters. 
is equal to CLR namespace dot NTWPF dot converters. Down here, we're going to add an entry converters, select it, control converter, copy it, and say key. I'll select the control converter. And they'll do that until we compile. Don't worry about it. On our grid, add grid.row definitions and just put two basic definitions in there. No size. Below the stack panel, add a content control. Grid.row is equal to one. Content is equal to binding selected item. Converter is equal to French bracket. Static resource. Selected control converter. Close it. We have our new value in there. Run it. See if I forgot anything. Output, no problems. Select one item. I have no color though. Where's my background color? And that's just because it's resizing down to it. I should have gave it a base size, uh, base item control, which is the only one we're actually using. Um, min, min width is 200. Min height is 200. And then go down here and give it a height of 32. And we can just copy that and paste it on the other two. See, some people actually think the hot reload something new. And it's really sad that it's not. All right, there we go. But everything is baby blue. Well, that's because our controls are not... Our, our, our items are all base items right now. It's all cayenne. So let's go back to main window. We'll close those because I know we're good. And I'm going to change base item 1 to a layer. And that's all good. And I'm going to change base item 0 to a layer. I'm going to change some of these, at least, to... I'm going to change all of them, I guess, on the first one. And then leave the other ones base items. So yeah, that's a layer, that's a segment, that's a segment, which is wrong. Uh, that's wrong in general, what I've done there. Um, no, that's right. And these should be part paths, but they're... Changed all those to segments. Okay, so let's go put some custom properties in layer so we can edit them. And we're almost done. I'm going to call these the Friday Tutorials. Just the fact, Jax. Um, private string test something. Public string test something. No, I didn't want to leave the... You were wrong. You were wrong in sense. Alright, so... It doesn't mean kick me out of the... bracket because you can't... handle it. Have massive discussions with IntelliSense here. Grow definition... Put four in there or something, I don't know. 
Let's go ahead and copy that. Selected item. Test something. Grid.row1. I'm going to have to mute my belly growling. I need some food. All right. And let's test it. Test something. I'm testing it. Go this one. Go back. Yay, it worked. Everything's working. And of course, we can change all these update properties to say update update source trigger is equal to property change. And that will update it as we're typing. So. So that updates while we're typing, we can see it. And this one is still not, although. Okay. If you got something out of this, like and subscribe. If you, um, if you have some questions, if you have anything, leave a comment. Just put something down in the comments. Uh, I, like I said, I've been around since, I've been in IT since 1989. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. We're going to bring in the list view. And then we are going to bring in the canvas and then I'm going to jump over to UWP and then I'm going to jump the same controls over to Windows App SDK. And that way I don't have to jump back and forth between all these <laughs> different environments. And I can just do the tutorial I want to do in the, in the area that I want to do it and you can convert it to whatever you want. See you in the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.